What's up everyone, Delia Solution 2 here, coming at you guys with a new series of videos. This series of videos is going to be focused on multiplayer bots, and I'll tell you why. When I buy a multiplayer game, one of the major deciding factors if I personally buy that game is if it has multiplayer bots. Hell, that's actually one of the main reasons why I still buy Call of Duty games, because after Black Ops 2, which is going to be the game I will be showing you right now, actually, for the very first episode of the series, is that's when they actually took their multiplayer bots somewhat seriously. Now, as we all know, the Call of Duty community has seen a lot of flack over the years for kids playing the game and just throwing racial slurs and uh, saying things about my mother that I had no idea that even happened. Now, unlike if you really want the experience of being screamed at by children, by all means, go play Call of Duty online. I'm sure not everyone on there is a piece of trash, but from my experience, I tried to not play with those kinds of people. But I actually enjoy the gameplay of Call of Duty. I enjoy the simplicity of those games, so that's why I actually keep buying them as well. Now, what these videos are actually really aimed towards is if the bots can actually be a really worthwhile substitute to actually playing with real people. Now, what I've noticed that the bots don't do, really a lot of the things that real players do, such as exploiting overpowered guns, exploiting bugs in the map, and other things like that that really get on my nerves when I see it happening. They tend not to camp. If they're camping, they're doing it for a reason because they have a sniper rifle, not because they just want to get a kill streak. And speaking about kill streaks, a lot of the really annoying kill streaks the boss just do not use. But in combat training or these custom matches, depending on which Call of Duty you're playing, you have access to the whole entire ensemble of weapons and kill streaks, which is really, really awesome. That means you don't have to grind endlessly for hours to try to get these weapons anymore. They are just there, ready for you to play with, which is really cool because I don't have a lot of time anymore to really play games for endless amounts of hours, grinding and grinding and grinding to try to get these guns anymore. But with these custom game modes, I can just jump right in, play a quick match with whatever freaking gun that I want to play with, with people that aren't screaming at me, which is awesome. That's what I really enjoy these days. Now, in my opinion, I play the Black Ops 2 bots on hardened difficulty. At this difficulty, I really feel like that they can actually provide a decent challenge for me. I still think that they're fair, and I still have fun playing the game. What's really nice about the Black Ops 2 bots versus the Black Ops 1 bots, they actually try and complete the objectives. You can play almost any game mode that Black Ops 2 has to offer with the bots, and they will play it as it's originally intended. They will actually work together as a team somewhat, unlike normal players, which are usually not mic'd up, and they just run off doing their own thing, regardless if you're even mic'd up to even try and communicate with them in the first place. Now the bots do tend to get a really unfair advantage when you do bump them up into the veteran difficulty, so if you're really feeling like you want a challenge, that's where you want to be, is the veteran difficulty. Now, in my feeling, if you're a really serious player of the game, you, you probably should be playing on the veteran difficulty. But for someone who's a bit more casual and who just likes a decent first-person shooter with some bots, Harden is fine for me. I, I can still kill a bunch of people, they can still kill me relatively easily, and I feel like it's a decent challenge for me. Unlike the... Call of Duty Black Ops 1 bots, Veteran was just a complete aim bot. They would just aim towards your head and just blow you the fuck away. Now with Veteran mode on Black Ops 2, they do tend to do that, but not as frequently as the Black Ops 1 bots because not all of them are running in a straight line at you. There was absolutely no pathfinding. It was absolutely ridiculous. I'm not even going to cover Black Ops 1 on this series. Now many people consider Black Ops 2 one the best PC Call of Duties because of its dedicated servers, and I tend to agree. And I do actually come back to Black Ops 2 as well as the other Call of Duty games to play the bots because they actually hold up really well after all these years. The bots are aggressive, they work well together as a team, they complete objectives. What more do you really want? They do try to drop shoot you, they do actually use some weird arrangements on the guns that you're kind of like, I don't know really why you'd be using those attachments. But nevertheless, I believe that these bots are actually playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. They're not supposed to be playing domination and camping in a corner just to get a fucking 
shit ton of kills on their guns. You know what I mean? They're actually trying to capture the flags. You're not going to have players AFK. You're not going to have players sitting around doing nothing. And you're going to have a very consistent level of play. You're not going to have noobs. You're not going to have anything crazy like that. You're actually going to have a decent, consistent gameplay experience. You know what? Actually, these bots are actually competitive as well. I believe that when I'm playing a game and it's close, I'm like, wow, I seriously want to win. And that's really cool that I can still retain some of the competitive edge that you'd get from a first person shooter, even playing with some bots. But then again, you might think playing with bots is a complete waste of time. For those of you out there who do enjoy playing with bots, I do recommend Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Not one, but two, because this is when they actually really started taking bot gameplay seriously, and this is when they really started implementing them in every other installment down the line. I really hope that Black Ops 3 gets bots, and I will be covering the other Call of Duty games in the future, as well as many other games that will be on this series as well. Like I said, if you want multiplayer games, you want to have them quick visceral multiplayer experience without playing with real people stay tuned on this series because i will be covering these games as best as i can because a lot of people just dismiss bots and they're just like ah it's just a throwaway feature but i am one of the people that are adamant about playing with bots still and i really feel like that they increase the longevity of the game because guess what when there's no people playing the game anymore and you still want to play the multiplayer the bots will always be there for you to play with Games like Titanfall, I would have bought that game instantly if I knew that there was going to be bots, not just the AI running around. But if that game had multiplayer bots, I would have actually bought that game. Maybe not for full price, but eventually. But no matter how much free DLC you can give me, I'm still not going to buy into a dying and or dead player base. That being said guys, I hope you guys stuck around and enjoyed a quick look at the multiplayer bots in Black Ops 2. There will be many more videos about bots in the future. I just hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you liked it. And I will see you next time on the next video, whatever that may be.